Good morning, Brad Kearns here. I'm so excited to share with you my morning exercise routine. This has been life-changing on so many levels. I am now on a streak of five consecutive years, haven't missed a single day. It has become so wired into habit and automatic behavior that I don't even have to think about it. I just automatically get up before reaching for my phone I hit the deck and I initiate the sequence of moves that I've built into a template that I repeat in the exact same manner every single day. I don't have to use creativity or willpower or even wonder if I'm motivated or not. I just get up and do it. And when you do it first thing in the morning, especially, it sets the tone for a day of focus and discipline and resilience against other forms of stress and distraction that come up. In contrast, when we reach for our phone as the first thing we do every morning, 84% of Americans, recent survey, do that every single day before even getting out of bed, a lot of them are reaching for the phone. And when you do that, you put yourself into that reactive instant gratification mode that's very difficult to extricate from when it's time to do something important, responsible, focused. So when I started back in 2017, I did a few exercises in bed. It took about 12 minutes. It was great. I got some momentum going after months and months. And then I very carefully would consider a new exercise, add that to the template, Yes, it was a little more difficult. Now the routine takes a little longer, but each step was comfortable and mindful to continue on with this as the new template. So I encourage you to start slow. Do something when you start every single morning, the exact same thing, very important, so that it becomes easier to wire it into habit rather than say vaguely, I'm gonna get up and exercise for 10 minutes before I get on with my day. When you begin, another cool thing, is it becomes sort of a meditative experience, I believe, because all I'm thinking about is progressing through the sequence of exercises and counting my reps. A lot of times I've tried to listen to a podcast or my mind starts to wander, I lose count of my reps and the penalty for that is I have to start the exercise over. So it's really a nice, calming way to start the day helps build your focus and you hopefully leverage and carry that through all the other things that you're doing in daily life. So I'm gonna show you very carefully, demonstrate how to do each exercise and I want you to pick and choose the ones of most interest to you so that you can custom design a morning routine that really feels good and comfortable to do. Are you ready? Let's get going. Another key aspect of the routine is that I want you to do it outside exposing your eyes to direct sunlight. And when I say sunlight, it doesn't have to be sunny. Today is an overcast day here in Southern California, pretty rare. But when my eyes are able to receive unfiltered light in the morning, this prompts a hormonal cascade that will leave you feeling energized, alert, and in a good mood. So what you're basically doing is you're triggering the suppression of melatonin in favor of a rise in the mood elevating hormone of serotonin that's strongly facilitated by early morning light. You are also suppressing adenosine, which is the same thing that caffeine does. Adenosine is this neurotransmitter that kind of makes you feel groggy and sleepy. It builds and builds and builds over the course of the day. Maybe a little bit still going on in the morning. That's why you wake up feeling groggy. You hit a shot of coffee, you feel great. Uh, but this is an even better and more natural way to do it. So we're boosting serotonin, we're suppressing adenosine, and we're also prompting a desirable spike in the prominent stress hormone called cortisol. We often talk of that in a negative context, too much cortisol running through your bloodstream all day in your hectic high stress life. But in the morning, cortisol spikes naturally when you can get exposure to direct light. Even if it's a little chilly outside, guess what? Now you're getting some therapeutic cold exposure. And I perform this routine year round outside, even in the winter snows of Lake Tahoe, I'll either create a space uh, shoveling snow if I have to, to get on the mat outside, or if it's adverse weather conditions, raining or really cold, I will open the sliding door, position my mat right near the door, as close as I can to outside, stick my head out there to make sure I'm getting some unfiltered light, and then go proceed to do the routine in a safe spot. So whatever you can do to get outdoors, if you have terrible inclement weather, you can still consider opening the slider, getting some fresh air, and then we get down to the mat and get to work. 